do 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 how's it going everybody let me let me even check if this audio works. this is me doing a video pretty uh pretty much as unplanned wow that's got a lot of dislikes for some reason all right what do we got oh look i'm just checking to see if the audio worked and i'm i'm fucking up already an ice woman i'm a professional don't worry. Shiva. Shiva yeah exactly the audio fantasy. don't work so let me fix this audio then we can get into um then we can get into what um what i want to get into here shouldn't take too long let me turn my mic down so i can at least ramble while i'm getting this stuff straight okay so i was uh usually what i do to pull the curtain back a little bit usually what i do the, the times i do make these stupid dsp videos Usually I listen to the pre-streams every day if I'm on top of it. Sometimes I listen to them all on like one day. But I try to listen to them the day they happen. That way, you know, I can keep, I can put a little timestamp down and I can just go to the video whenever I make a video talking about the stuff he said and the stuff he did over the course of a uh, week that passed. Is this audio playing? Oh my god, OBS. Please. Get all your plan out. Okay, so I can mute this and get this shit off the fucking screen. So usually what um what I do, I listen to the pre-streams the day they happen. I try to at least. That way I can stay on top of it. And that way I don't get like some kind of weird DSP burnout. Because uh, that's happened before and I don't really... It's not a very fun thing. But anyway, so I was listening to his pre-stream today. While he was about to play that high game for Ana. Uh, Pre-stream February 14, 2017. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. For Honor Begins! Exclamation mark slash. This is how you don't play reactions are priceless. Now, usually what I would do, I find something, I'd be like, oh, this is an interesting thing he talked about. I would like to talk about this in the in the, the next video. And I'll put a little timestamp down and leave the tab open. And then bada boom, bada bing, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever fucking day I, I got the time to do it and feel like doing it, I'll make a video. Today is not the case. It's not the case today. He got a new Patreon goal. I don't feel like fucking talking about that right now. Um, other stuff, I don't feel like talking about that right now. I want to talk about this one thing and this one way he going about this situation. And of course, you can say, oh, Tevin, you just fucking hating on DSP. You just always find something. That I don't even have the fucking cameras on right now. That's, that's like, this is not even a setup video. I was about to play Street Fighter and I was like, nah. Because if, if I play Street Fighter and stream that, I'm going to just fucking talk about this during the stream anyway. So I was like, now nah, I'm going to record a fucking video just about this so I can complain about it. And yeah, you can say, oh, Tevin, you complain about everything dealing with DSP. I really try. I really don't try to. Sometimes I, sometimes I give them the benefit of the doubt even. But this is one of those situations. Of course, yeah, you can give them the benefit of the doubt and you can treat them like a fucking five-year-old that just learned how to tie shoes like a lot of other people treating it. But I'm not. And I refuse to. Because this is the most pitiful fucking individual by far that the most pitiful individual that doesn't have some kind of fucking legit mental problem i guess i could say and that's probably gonna piss somebody off but that's the best way i can fucking word it it is a horrible horrible tiny shell of a fucking man inside a dsp it really is to go from if you made this type of video you helped me almost die you want me to die you hate me, blah, 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 blah. You have no life, all of this, all of that. And the, to, to, the, the thing is to drill that shit into his fan base head because it's people that like DSP that think people that make this is how you don't play videos and videos like that, they think that they have no life. You want to know why? Because DSP has shat on us for so fucking long. That's why people don't watch him play Nintendo games because if you like DSP, you pro if you like Nintendo games, you probably stop watching them because he's shot on Nintendo for so many years. And if you like him, you probably don't like Nintendo games because you was like, you're right, Phil. Nintendo does suck. That's why his Nintendo games get low fucking plays. But that's a whole different subject. But I was listening to this and I was just astounded at how fucking low this dude is sinking. To make even like five fucking pennies, pretty much. Just, it, it's mind blowing, mind blowing. Like this, this is worse than somebody selling out 
in, in uh, shilling shirts and shit all fucking day on the stream. This is way worse than that. This is somebody completely going against morals that they stood behind for years. And then trying to flip flop it and turn it into something else completely to make it seem like everything is okay. And that they just grew up and, and finally figured it out. Oh man, you go fail. You're only 34 years old. I'm going to treat you like a 10 year old in the comment section. Oh my God, Phil, what a great thing you're doing here. I can't believe. Oh man, you're, you're finally figuring it out, Phil. Get the fuck out of here. But anyway, let me play this uh, hot pre-stream. He goes on about this for a while. But um, if you don't know, you probably already do know. DSP is, I actually talked about it last time I did a video. DSP is soliciting his viewers and fans and people out of board, apparently, to make videos for him. And you make a video for DSP out of his, you know, out of his content. You make a video with his, with his footage. And you send it to him. Well, you have to tell him ahead of time, but whatever. You make a, you make a video with his footage. You send it to him. He says, oh, that's a good video. He uploads it. He makes the money. You get promotion. You get promotion on a channel that got 20,000 subs, 20, I think 24,000 subs. The channel grows slow as a motherfucker. It's channels that don't even upload videos that grow faster than KO Gaming 1. But you get promotion, in air quotes, on his fucking snail growth channel. You're probably going to get maybe three or 4,000 views. Maybe. You might get like five or six, but these videos aren't getting amazing views. His, his, the, video, the videos on his channel stop getting like 10k average a while ago I might actually uh, I'm actually check that now while I'm fucking rambling anyway but you, you make the video you send it to you send it to Mr. Phil he puts it on his fucking fucking skeleton channel I don't even know what to call it skeleton channel doesn't work his fucking dry ass desert channel but it's it's getting a little bit of water now you guys because of his, his fans and viewers are making videos for him but he he takes all the ad revenue. Of course he does. He takes all the ad revenue. So this is uh I think as a matter of fact, I think Fred said it in one of the one of the last videos they posted on the Sons of Kojima channel. You, it's a new way to donate to DSP. If you don't have money, if you don't have bits, if you don't have Twitch Prime and you can't give him money and shit all of those ways, just make a video for him. And it's like an infinite donation because the video is gonna always get at least one view. But uh, it seemed like yeah, every video that got made from from you know by fans, sixty five hundred views is the most views one of them got. Now that this is how you don't play one, that's gonna get some reasonably good views because people want to see what is necessarily a DSP approved. This is how you don't play. Apparently, not even gonna say how I feel about the video. That's not the fucking point. Who fucking cares? I don't even like Resident Evil 7. But to be honest, it, it's it's just watching it. I'm, this is all I'm going to say. Watching it, it felt like I was watching a funny highlights video. It did not feel like I was watching this is how you don't play video. But then that goes into what DSP was talking about. Because apparently he knows how you're supposed to make a this is how you don't play video. Even though he's never watched a whole one. I'm pretty sure he's never watched a whole one. And... um what else? I mean, of course, DSP, the dude that, like I said, probably never watched a whole This Is How You Don't Play video, and the dude that said those videos are the reason why people want him to die, he knows how these videos are supposed to be made. It's supposed to be like a, like a comedian roast, you guys. It's roasting me. The video is roasting me. Anyway, let's listen to this pre-stream so I can complain about, about the stuff he said in, I guess. The other thing. Am audio bugged. God damn it, Kojima. Oh, never mind. I had the audio turned down. Is oh, no, my end. The video that I posted up on KO Gaming last night. This is how you don't play Resident Evil 7. I knew... The plot that thickens. When I you shall see. ...officially approve a this is how you don't play video. And start to kind of open up and stop being so obstinate about people making these kind of silly videos and criticizing me and my gameplay and all that. And... I knew that it was going to have one hell of a reaction, and boy was I right. I've seen some great positive stuff, I've seen some ridiculously silly stupid negative stuff, I've seen people in the middle, 
pretty interesting. Let's put it it's that way. Fan art. I don't know what I'm way. talking about. All right. Oh, it is um, fan art. Go to KO Gaming, youtube.com forward slash KO Gaming 1. If you don't know what I'm talking about, and watch this video see, while I'm talking to you on pre-stream. Officially sponsored slash approved of one of these. He sponsored it. Does he know what sponsoring means? The last time I checked, when you sponsor something, that don't mean that you get all the profit and they get like minuscule attention. These videos, so this is how you don't play, where people take my gameplay from one of my raw playthroughs and they edit it into a funny montage that basically makes fun of me. Uh, funny montage. Me out on a lot of stuff. Funny montage. Me in a lot of ways. Just think about when you see a, a, a roast of a famous comedian or a celebrity. Here we go. That's this roast this thing that he's been fucking stuck to for the last okay. couple of days. It's a roast. So, I posted this up and some people some people really like it. They were like, wow, this is a good positive change for Phil. He's opening up to this kind of stuff. He realizes now, you know, and it's funny because you say yeah. this is where I get the the thing from. It was like it's like he's thirty four years old, and he got people that's five years younger than him, ten years younger than him, maybe fifteen years younger than him. You know, might be people five years older than him, but the dude thirty four years old, and he still got people telling him, "Oh man, this is a great change. This is a great change for you, Phil." Oh man, you're really gonna turn it around with this. Oh, this is oh man, I can't believe you're doing this, Phil. This is great. People are treating dude like you're five years old. Like you're a fucking five year old. Like it's like we have such low standards. Even it even his fans apparently have such low fucking standards for him. He does anything, anything. Just like when he first started editing videos for KO Gaming. When he first made KO Gaming. Uh what what what's another good one? When he when he first went to when he well, when he went back to Twitch maybe when he first started using direct capture, it's it's been going on for years. Every time you do something, oh man, Phil, ah, oh, this is such a great thing you're doing. Like our standards are so fucking low for this dude. Every time he does something even remotely kinda interesting, we gotta fucking throw fireworks all over the place. Because it's, oh, man, I can't believe Phil is making such a big change. Wow, Phil, you actually, oh, man, you, you got your big boy pants on, Phil. Oh, man, no more no more diapers for you, Phil. Wow, I'm so proud of you, Phil. That's how people treat him. Yeah, four years Grown-ass man. I finally realize it, right? But the thing is, and I'll say this. I've said this before. I'll say it again. Here we go. There is no handbook. No handbook. There is no yeah, I, I watched this ahead of time, so I just remember everything. Fame. No instruction manual of internet fame. And for me, you know, when, when people started against my will, not even asking me for permission, downloading my videos and making these montages that seemed to laugh at me rather than laugh with me and make fun of me and basically say that I suck and I'm a bad person, when I started seeing these videos, I, you know, I, I didn't know how to react. I could it took him four years to figure it out? Each in individual no, 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 no. See, he want us to believe. He want us to believe. Oh, it's no, it's no guidebook. It's no manual. I don't have a Twitch chat to tell me how to handle YouTube fame, you guys. So it took me four years to finally figure it out. I finally figured it out. I don't even know what this imp impersonation is. It's like fucking Ace Ventura or something. But it took him four years. Four years. To, fig to figure it out in the air quotes. Just ha he just happens to figure this out. After the YouTube copyright system kind of gets fixed. Fixed in quotes. After the YouTube copyright system kind of gets fixed. In his favor too obviously. And it took him four years. And the idea that he could upload these videos that other people make. And make the money off the videos. Just like... Now, isn't that a coincidence, right? That it just happened to take four years and these other situations to happen. Just like him going back to Twitch. Oh, OBS crashed. OBS crashed and lost all information. Well, might as well switch to OBS Studio. And follow a notification. Oh, yeah, I got to make a video for this stupid giveaway. I don't want to talk about it in this video. I'm going to make a separate video. I forgot all about that. I might do it tomorrow now. I don't fucking know. But, yeah, if you hear that again, that's a follow notification. One of them, at least. Anyway, I forgot what I was, what I was talking about. See, so this is why you don't have shit like that in the background.
God damn it, I should have turned it off. I could have laughed with them and kind of embraced <laughs> it. And basically, I didn't do the laugh. Okay, I was on the Twitch thing. And then I, I talk about the Twitch thing, and then the Twitch thing happens. So, just like, you know, these situations all happen, you know, the stars align. All of this stuff just happened to happen at the perfect fucking time. And everything just works out. Oh, man, the copyright system a little bit better. Well, now I understand this is how you don't play. And I don't mind them as long as I can put them on my YouTube channel. Well, now I understand videos that people make about me that might show me dying a lot in the game. I mean, yeah, these videos are okay, but I kind of would like to have them on my YouTube channel. Maybe. Yes, maybe. Now, you know damn well if the copyright system wouldn't have got fixed, DSP would not be talking about this is how you don't play videos in this way at all he would say these videos exist to hurt him these videos exist to make people hate him these videos exist to destroy his business these people want to see him die these people want to see him go away from youtube blah 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 everybody wants that that's what he would be telling us if youtube never never fixed the copyright system in his favor just like when his alleged OBS crashed. Oh, well, OBS crashed. Well, might as well go to OBS Studio. Oh, wow, would you look at that? If you use OBS Studio, you can record and stream at different bit rates. Oh, man, I totally didn't know that. Wink, wink. Oh, people, people have been saying for the last two years I should go back to Twitch. Well, now I'm going to go back to Twitch. And guess what? The original bullshit reason why he went back to Twitch it's completely fucking invalid because he can't stream at two different bit rates anyway because his computer not good enough. So he's still on Twitch even though he going against the reason why he went back and he going against the reason why he left in the first place. But now he's still out. You know why? Because he can make extra money. Just like why he accepting these videos that people make about him. Because he can make extra money. That's what it's always fucking about. Always. That's what it's always been about. That was the reason why he started using direct capture. Because he was making less money. He wanted to make extra money or more money. Think about, think, like, take this into consideration. I'm, I'm going way back here. When this dude first started using direct capture, he could have just used direct capture and did videos, right? No, he went to Twitch pretty much the same day. Oh, well, I, I'm using direct capture. Oh, Twitch, what's this Twitch thing? Oh, you mean you can, you can, you can run ads on Twitch and people can pay $5 a month to get some shitty emotes? Oh, I got to do that. That's extra money. Everything he do that he and is usually something that he didn't want to do for a really long time. And then he usually ends up doing it because he can make extra money doing it. When he first started Patreon. Oh, well, now I want to play Minecraft. Now I understand Minecraft. I can't believe I went all of those years hating on Minecraft. I was oh, I was ignorant back then. I understand Minecraft now. I would understand a lot of stuff, too, if I would be getting paid to understand it, basically. You think he would have played Minecraft if he wouldn't have got any money for it? Thousands of people could have asked him to play that game at the same time, and he wouldn't have fucking played it. Thousands. Literally thousands of people could have asked him to play that game at one fucking time, and he wouldn't have played it. Same thing with Twitch. If he wouldn't have been making extra money on Twitch, if Twitch would have said, well, we can't partner you, he wouldn't have went back to Twitch. As a matter of fact, I remember him saying that he would have been okay now, I'm going way back again. I remember him saying he would have been okay with going back to Twitch if he couldn't get partner day one. Well, couldn't get repartner day one. But then when Twitch told him that he was going to get his partnership back, he didn't stream until he had his sub button again. He didn't stream not one fucking day for free on Twitch. Not one fucking day he streamed for free on Twitch. But he, he do all of this stuff for his fans. And he do all of this stuff because he's, he's learning and he's getting better. But he just so happens to make extra money or make some money out of every single situation where he's allegedly learning and getting better. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this is a very sad, pitiful, small shell of a fucking man that'll do anything possible to make even a little tiny bit of money and then try to fucking flip it and turn it into something else and make it seem like it's something else when it's never the case at all. Never the case. I'm honestly surprised he ain't played Street Fighter V yet. He's going to figure out some fucking cheesy ass way to finesse making money playing Street Fighter V. Well, uh, well, now I finally understand how the game is and I got a little bit better at combos because I actually put some practice in and Street Fighter V isn't really that bad of a game. $1,500 Street Fighter V fucking Patreon marathon or some dumb shit. 
Anyway, let's, let did. me continue. Most of the former and none of the latter. Now, here we are years later, right? Nice Years thoughts. and years later, I obviously realize that... Now he realizes it. You know, doing... Listen up, listen up. He can't even talk. the right way to go about it. Being angry that people want to basically share my content or... He can barely talk because he's trying to, he's trying to strain a fucking lie out of his body. Okay. He can barely talk. People obviously like to see me fail. People like to roast me. And that's okay because I'm one of the very few YouTubers who's made a living showing one... So... This is how you don't play videos all okay. It's okay to like to see him fail. It's okay to roast him. Why it took him four years and him having the ability to make money off of these videos to say this? Oh no, that's because he's learning and getting better. He's, he's becoming a better person. He's becoming a better Phil. That's why. It's not just because he can make extra money at all. No way. I'm just being a hater. I don't know what I'm talking about. 100% of everything I do with games. I'm not popular on YouTube because I have highly edited scripted comedy. He implies he's popular on YouTube right here, by the way. Right? Where I take out my fails. No, people like my stuff because I show the fails. People like his stuff because he showed the fails. But the reason people don't watch his stuff is because he showed the fails. And the reason why people watch This Is How You Don't Play videos is because they highlight the fails and don't show everything else. So it's at least kind of interesting. Okay. And so what I should have probably done Fair was embrace this phenomena and said, okay, phenomena. Like see the fails. Let's get people officially making these things, right? And instead of attacking or... Not necessarily attacking because it wasn't like I went out and I publicly started attacking everyone who made these videos he never went out and publicly attacked people that made the videos wow who would have guessed who would have guessed videos but it was always kind of like well if you make these videos obviously you're a dick because you're stealing my stuff and stuff like that i obviously i could have gone a, a, about it a much different way okay let's face it by the way people been saying in suggestion suggesting that suggestion i can't even talk people been suggesting the DSP team up with these, this is how you don't play makers and these montage makers and all of this. For years, pretty much since it first started, people have been saying that. Oh man, you should you should team up with Evil AJ and you guys can make a video and you can put it on your channel and share the air revenue. Oh man, you should, you should team up with the montage makers and you can put the videos on your channel and share the air revenue, blah, 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 blah. Now he thinks of this. When he realizes he has the ability to put the videos on his channel and make 100% of the ad revenue, now he realizes this. If he would have thought of this four years ago, he would have never ended up hating this Zion on plays because he would have used them to make money. Garen fucking to it. Garen fucking to it. I have no idea. And this is somebody sitting up here making a dumb video complaining about a dumb YouTuber talking about a dumb video that he uploaded on a half-dead YouTube channel. And even I'm going to say, how could you justify wasting your life clock, as LTG would say, how could you justify wasting your life clock to enable someone else to make money off of you for nothing? For nothing. What, promotion? Who's going to fucking sub to a channel for an, an average video uploaded on Kale Gaming 1? How many fucking subs are these channels going to get? Like 20? 20 or 30? Like, you could, look at the, this is, you could look at the This Is How You Don't Play Makers, like the ones that do them a lot. It might be for like four channels that legit have more than a thousand subs from those videos like i mean they started off with like zero subs or a few hundred from other stuff maybe and they gained subs because they made those videos and because people liked them but for the most part these this is how you don't play videos they could get 40 50 000 views and an account might get like eight like eight subs people don't really sub to these channels for these videos unless they put out a lot of them only one, only ones I could think of is Evil AJ. He got a lot, he got a lot of subs. Uh, Sebastopol Queen, or however the fuck you say it, before the account got whatever happened to it. Um, the dude that did GTA Four and 
the GTA 4 DLCs. I forget his name. He always had a, the James Bond opening. He he do a lot of fucking this site on plays though. But he got um he got you know he got subs from him, I guess you could say. But for the most part, people that do these videos, they don't get no fucking subs. I'm supposed to believe they're gonna get subs if they give him the DSP and he uploads them? Because they're not. No one's gonna have some fucking overnight come up. Oh man, I had 20 subs and I gave I gave Phil a video and now I have 5,000 subs and people are watching all my videos. That's not gonna happen. This promotion doesn't exist. It's like it's like he promoting. It's like he promoting fashion, fashion like uh, high fashion clothes to homeless people because they can't they 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 can't fucking buy it. That's a really bad analogy. But no one's going to see any fucking profit. The dude that's promoting it getting something out of it because he got paid to promote the shit. But he's promoting it to people that can't even fucking buy it. It's like, oh man, sub to this channel if you like this one montage he made for me. I'm sorry, but that's not worth it. It's not worth the life clock. It's not worth it. I don't know why anybody's doing this. Even if you were a fan of him, why would you do this? Even if you're a fan of them, why would you do this? And even, even more so, if you're not a fan, why would you do this? Why would you enable somebody to make money in the lamest way possible? Just the lamest way possible. Even, even rappers that's getting fucked over by their record label, at least they even get something. They might, they might at, at best get like, well, at worst, get like a, a, re a rental car or something. You ain't even getting a fucking rental car. You're getting a flyer put on. You're getting a flyer put on a telephone pole, pretty much. And he getting all the money that you make, and you got a flyer on a telephone pole, and you performing at the club tonight. And all of the money that the club making, you ain't getting none of that either. That's what it is to make a video for DSP. He putting a flyer on a telephone pole, and he making all of the money. True. Or whatever. And you know now people I can do whatever they want to do at their time. I guess four years later. Because I'm um, obviously like somebody could say, oh, Tevin, you make these dumb videos and you're trying to get on someone else for, you, for wasting their time. Learning experience. And trust me, I'm sure there are people who watched me in my experience as a YouTuber and they learned from my mistakes and they're doing much better. All right. So if anything, hopefully other people have learned. But it is what it is. I, I finally, four years later, I'm just kind of like, you know, I think I'm going to embrace it and see, you know, what happens. So... Finally, four years later, I think I'm going to embrace it and see what happens. Like I said, he just happens to embrace this when he realizes that he can make money from it. What a coincidence. I, you know, just I like OBS crashing wanted to submit these and losing all the information because the OBS game. always does that. Was that. This is how you don't play. And I watched this video and I'm like, this video is good. Now, there are obviously some things in the video that could be improved. And yeah, there's a few cringy moments. But for the most part, I watched this video and I laughed my ass off at a few in particular things that happened during it. And I'm like, why wouldn't I approve this? <clears throat> why wouldn't I want to share this with more people, right? So, I post up this video on KO Gaming. All right, and immediately, here's what happened. Here we go. No, no, this is like part two There's people of the who watch this, in this video. Play because they like to laugh they think that it's funny they think that it's entertaining and there's some people that understand that this is how you don't play only exists because i exist and that if you know if i were to go the away, ego by the way the that ego the that basically the whole source material would kind of be gone not to say that people haven't made these for other people because they have um but they're not you're never going to be as popular or have that core focus like they have since they started never gonna be as popular that's why the low tier god this is how you don't play street fighter 5 videos got by far more views and more versions made than this is how you don't play dsp street fighter 5 videos dude if you went away it's other bad less players it's other it's other streamers that are bad at games pretty much every fucking streamer that play a game for the first time is going to be bad at it just for the most part, and you know, unless they good at the game series as a whole or whatever. But for some reason, for some fucking reason, he think that if he go away, this is how you don't play just won't exist anymore. 
first of all, it's like hundreds of fucking Let's Plays on all of his channels that never been covered by This Is How You Don't Play. And a lot of them are bad enough to be covered by one. People just don't fucking bother to watch that old shit with him aiming the camera at the TV to, to, to try to see if it's even good enough for This Is How You Don't Play. First of all. Um, second of all, I don't know what I was going to say second of all, but it gets even better. Just just continue to listen. It gets even my better. My content, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Because I'm, I'm thinking ahead, so some people which is what that. my second point would have been. And hell, there's actually a lot of people who saw these videos over the years, and they became fans of mine. They actually tune into the streams, and they watch my raw gameplay and everything. You know what I mean? That's because they want to see so, you fail live. <clears throat> oh, Duh. They want to see you fail as soon as, so, as soon as possible. You know? Those are good. Those are people who kind of tongue in cheek understand. They're, yes, Let's they're rewind this a bit. Listen to this. Listen to the almost slip up right here. So, you know, those are good. Those are people who kind of tongue in cheek. Those are good. Those are people who kind of tongue in cheek understand it. He was about to say those are good people. The people that he was about to say the people that know this is how you don't play videos only exist because DSP exists. Those are good people. And the people that watch him on stream and on and watch his raw YouTube videos and came from this like don't play, but they want to see his whole videos. Those are good people. He was actually about to say those are good people. Phenomenal. Understand. Good yes, people. Yes, they're laughing at me, but they also understand that you know you have to laugh with me as well and not just basically rip me a new. It's not laughing with you if you was never person. laughing. Because if you do, I won't be able to do this for a job anymore. Right, but then there's this other group of people that watch these. Videos. You have to like me too, because if you don't like me too, and if you don't support me too, this is how you don't play. This won't exist. You fucking morons. That's basically what he's trying to say. And this is this is why I came in his video so fucking salty and shitting on him so much. This dude is so desperate to try to make YouTube continue to work, even though it's not. And he lost. He he. He ain't even losing his dignity. He fucking giving it away. He giving away so much of his dignity. He's just throwing it in the fucking sky at this point. He giving away so much of his dignity that he actually willing to go back on everything he's been saying for the last four years. He willing to go back on all of the stuff he ever said about this is how you don't play videos. This is how you don't play T I T I H Y D P. From the first day he streamed on YouTube to the last day he streamed on YouTube was a banned phrase. This is how you don't play. As a matter of fact, I believe is a banned phrase on his Twitch channel. It might not be banned anymore, but I believe it was a banned phrase on his Twitch channel. And he recently went back to Twitch how many months ago? Not years, months. So within the last few months, basically, you realized that these videos are okay and it's a roast but this also just happens to happen when you can make money off of these videos you are so sad as a person like legit you are so sad as a person and so low and so fucking desperate that you're willing to go back on everything over the course of all of these years you're willing to go back on the banned phrases and the banned words and all your chats on all of the different websites you didn't streamed on. You're willing to go back on all the times you didn't ban people on, well, block people on tw on Twitter for saying that they was watching this Zion don't play video. You're willing to go back on all of that to make a couple dollars and to try to exploit something that's barely even able to be exploited at this point. It's not like these videos are getting a hundred thousand views a day. He's going to get a few extra thousand views by accepting these types of videos. Like, legit, how much money is he going to be fucking getting a month from, 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 from this? I don't know. He might upload, like, maybe, maybe 10, 15 fan-made videos. And eventually it's going to dry up. It's not like the dude got millions of people in his fan base. These people, it's probably maybe a few dozen people that's willing to make videos like this, fam. Eventually, people are going to fucking... Stop making them because they're going to they're going to find something else to do or they're going to get tired of wasting their time because it ain't like they're getting a, a fucking huge payoff. They barely getting any kind of promotion. Nobody's going to fucking sub to them. They're, good, they're not going to get any money. So what you making them, you making them for fun. And even if you even if you want to say you make these videos for fun because you're giving them the DSP and because he uploading them, they're going to get shat on anyway. Because he uploaded it. 
So you're making your video for fun and you're putting mad effort into it and it's getting shot on just because it's on DSP channel. And he bring that up in his video. Like I'm not trying to pretend like that's not the case. A lot of these videos are going to get shot on for the simple fact that he fucking uploaded them and he fucking approved them. The only thing, the only huge problem I really got with it is that he planning like the idea is to make money off of these videos that other people made for him. And he's not going to give them nothing besides some fucking half ass promotion. That's ridiculous. You want people to give you bits and sub to you on Twitch for you to keep streaming. You want people to give you money on Patreon for you to keep existing on the internet. And now you want people to make highlight videos and send them to you so you can upload them and make money off of that. Then you want people to watch the videos too. Look how much stuff you got to do to keep DSP around. If you, if you like DSP, look at how much shit you got to do. If you like them, you got to edit videos, give them fucking bits, sub to them, watch his videos, sub to all three of his YouTube channels, watch all of those videos, follow them on Twitter, give them money on Patreon. You got to do so fucking much <laughs> to keep a bad Let's Player around. Like a fundamentally bad Let's Player. Not, not, never has interesting commentary ever. Never has anything even worth saying to say. Oh man, look at that. Oh man, wow, look at that. Oh, that's so funny. Oh. All of his funny moments, or because of the game, had a funny moment. None of his funny moments is something that he did that added to the game. He never adds to the game ever. It's always the game fucking dragging him along. Imagine if he was a hairstylist, he would never fucking be able to do hair because he would need he would need the scissors to do the work for him. That's why he exists as a less player. If DSP did anything else on the internet, period, it wouldn't work. Anything. He couldn't do anything else on the internet and make money. Because everything else that you can do on the internet to make some kind of money would need some kind of creativity, some kind of effort, some kind of I don't know, writing skill, some kind of something. But doing these fucking bullshit reactionary let's plays when you just look at the screen and, and just react to everything. It's like a really bad react channel. When you watch those reaction videos and they watching like a fucking Superman trailer or something, it's like, oh, damn, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, shit, that's Superman. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, man, God. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, man, God damn. Oh, damn. It's like one of those videos. Except with video games. So... DSP, a let's play from DSP is pretty much like a 5 to 20 hour long, maybe even longer, reaction video. Pretty much. But I didn't went off on a fucking tangent. I forgot what my original point was. Point is, DSP videos fucking blow. He suck at talking. The dude been talking to, to a camera for ages. He suck at talking. He say um all fucking day. He pause all day. He got to think about what he got to say all the fucking time. Like, I'm not the best fucking talker ever in the world either. But I ain't been talking to the camera for eight years. And I still say um 40 times in every, every two seconds. It's horrible. His vlogs are bad. He sucks at talking. His pre-streams are bad. He sucks at talking. He shill the same shit to the same fucking people. His let's plays are bad. They're like horrible reaction videos. And he wants all of this stuff from all of these different people just to stay around. Give me money on Patreon. Follow me on Twitter. Sub to me on Twitch. Give me bits on Twitch. Sub to these channels. Buy fucking soap. Um, did I say Patreon already? I don't even fucking know. Horrible. And now make videos for me too. Literally do all of my work and give me money. Think about that. Think about how insane it is. Do my work for me. Make these montages for me and give me money on Patreon. Do my work for me and then pay me to pay me to do my work. Imagine that. It's like going to the barbershop. You go to the barbershop with your own clippers or scissors or whatever the fuck you cut your hair with. You go to the barbershop with your own clippers, cut your hair in your mirror that you brought with you. Right? And then you give the barber $10 and say, thanks, fam. That's pretty much what you're doing. You go in a DSP barbershop cutting your own hair and paying him. And, it, and that's apparently fucking okay. All right, then. All right. And they're just malicious, immature fucking dicks. 
The only reason they watch the videos is I don't know what I'm gonna name this video necessarily for a laugh, but because they're malicious. These people actually want to see me burn. They want to see my business fail. They want to hurt me in any way they can. And so for them, oh, well, this is great because I mean to be honest, your business already is a failure. Even when you was even when you was successful, you was a failure because your videos still sucked, your vlogs still sucked. It still was uninteresting. It still was un you still wasn't entertaining. And the best part about you is seeing you do bad at something. Think about that. When the best part about a let's player is seeing him do bad at the game. Think about that. Think about that. We want to see him fail. He already was a fucking failure. People still feels content. Now he's just a failure with less money. Not feel any ad revenue. And he'll go out of business and we don't give a fuck. Even though they're so stupid, they don't realize that would mean that's the end of this is how you don't play if I went out of business. But they're not that smart. Guess what? The people that don't like him that much, they would be they would be very much fine with this is how you don't play videos never coming out again. Because the ones that are already out are still going to be on the internet. And unless he delete his channels, his old Let's Plays are still going to be on the internet. And people are going to make this is how you don't plays out of them. And uh, I don't know if DSP necessarily realizes it, but majority of these people are just going to move on anyway. They're just going to find someone else that does something similar and shit on them and try to drive them crazy and then try to make them the next DSP. You know that's what's going to happen. Like, for some reason, he thinks he's just the most unique individual ever. If he go away, all of this is going to be done. If he go away, no one's going to find some new Let's Play out of shit. Oh, no way. Not at all. Give me a break. You're not that special, dude. You're not that special. You never was. You never will be. I mean, if anyone who would have no morality or conscious, you know, feeling of, oh, man, I want to hurt someone I don't even know who's never done anything wrong to me. Um, obviously, there's something fucking wrong with them to begin with, right? So these people, they watch this, this is how you don't play video. Now here's the thing. I have not edited this video in any way. This, this is how you don't play video. I posted up last night on KO Gaming. Huh, he edit, did edit though. He edited his intro on it. What, what is he talking out? about? I didn't say, oh, it's too, it's too harsh or too serious. This video must be t tamed for it to be on KO Gaming. No, this video, you're seeing it in its original form. In fact, the only thing that was changed was the- Like I said in the beginning, it's pretty much a fucking a funny moments montage it's a funny moments montage way over it being a this is how you don't play because think about it in the name this is how you don't play this is how you don't play a game right wouldn't that just be showing somebody pretty much fail at the game for the most part not like funny moments and shit and i feel like that um this is how you don't play is more or less a funny moments video over it being an actual, hey, you shouldn't do this in the game. Look at this dude do this and fucking fail. So, what ifs? There were two copywritten songs in it originally, and I was afraid that those were going to get flagged on YouTube. So I did ask the guy, can you re-edit it and just replace those songs with more generic music? But for the most part, you're seeing the original video. I didn't request anything like that at all. Okay? So this video is an original this is how you don't play this is what uh, it would have been in fact it is what it is because this guy already posted it on his own personal youtube channel previously but wasn't getting a lot of attention for it because the bottom line is so many people make this is how you don't play now that they've all watered each other down and basically killed the whole phenomenon nope so this guy was kind of upset that you know he put all this people making a lot of those videos didn't kill the phenomenon what happened is people less people just less people fucking watch them and it's still this is how you don't play is they get pretty good views but when you have like four fucking resident evil 7 this is how you don't play at the same time the good ones are the ones that you know at least show up to the top of the youtube search are gonna be the ones that get the most views not because on oh, oh they all it's too many of them so they all cutting each other off they all watered each other down He's basically trying to tell us right here that oversaturation made less people watch all of them overall, period. But if he actually believes that's true, then why the fuck he uploads so much videos on his channel? 
Whatever. It's time and effort into this video and no one was watching it. So I said, I'll feature on KO. Did he really give it, give the video so to DSP up, because no one was watching it? Because you don't make this is how you don't play videos to give views. So silly, so stupid. I don't remember, right. I, I don't remember the point of making any of these video videos was to give views. This edited by Phil to be tame. Uh, and it's whatever. not true, this is how you don't play. Or the people, this, this video is terrible because it's approved by Phil. Even though, keep in mind, this video was already uploaded without me or my permission. Because I uploaded it to KO Gaming, it immediately became bad. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Some people think that I made the video. When I blatantly say in the fucking video, I didn't. It even says in the video who made it and everything. It's obviously not me in the video talking in the video. Um, some people. It's said not me in the video, the video talking in the video. No, that's false. But he do talk in the video. He literally talks in the um, beginning of the video. <laughs> Did he forget that he really put himself ridiculous. in the beginning of the video? Just saying, like you know, silly shit. Phil here with Kale gaming or whatever. Crazy ass fucking conspiracy theories. Right? So just because I like the video and I, I understand what he mean, but game, he sounds really dumb. Bad. <clears throat> Despite the fact that it is legit, it was put up on YouTube beforehand. What makes it a, le a, a legit this is how you don't play? What the fuck does that even mean? It's legit because it was done before you knew about it? I have nothing to do. I have no hand in the making of the video whatsoever. It's bad. So that's the mentality of the idiot. That's the mentality the idiot. of the dumb, immature moron. The dumb, immature moron. The whole mentality behind this is how you don't play is supposed listen to be... Listen to this. Listen yeah, to this. we're making fun of Phil, but we're not necessarily being so malicious that we want Phil to fucking fail and have his business fail and, you know, have all this horrible stuff happen to him. There's actually... He apparently understands the point of this is how you don't play videos. He understands the point of these videos more than the people that actually watch them. Right. You know what this is? You know what this really is? This is him trying to turn something that's more or less against him in all ways. He trying to make it a thing that's for him in all ways. And he's starting off by making money off of it. And now he's going to try to make it, oh no, it's not supposed to be a video that's going to call me a piece of shit. It's not supposed to have comments pop up on the screen saying that they wish out my YouTube channel would get deleted. And it's not supposed to have all of these mean things in it. No, it's supposed to be a roast. It's supposed to be laughing with me, not at me. He's trying to turn, he's trying to turn the meaning and the point of this is how I don't play video into what he wants it to be. I'm not even going to sit here and pretend like like I'm some kind of fucking god and I know what the fucking point of the video is. I don't even know if Evil AJ know what the fucking original point of the video or, 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 or the thing was when he originally made it. Who fucking knows? I'm not trying to say, oh, the point is this and you have to make them for this reason. But he trying to. Pretty much this little this little thing he about to go go on for go on for the next couple seconds is him trying to change the meaning of something that he doesn't even understand in the fucking first place. And something that he never understood. And something that he still doesn't understand. And he's only pretending to understand it because he wants to make money off of it. But he's trying to turn the point and the reasoning for this is how you don't play into something else. It's it's to laugh with them. It's a roast. What? Okay. He's trying to turn it into a complete, po a completely positive thing. And the funny thing is, he doesn't realize this. But if he turned this is how you don't plays into some positive thing that's for Phil and not against Phil, and we're, we're laughing with Phil and not at him, that's gonna pretty much kill it. <laughs> so then he won't be able to make money off of it, and then people that make them won't even want to make them anymore, probably. But uh, yeah, keep on, keep on up with it, buddy. It'll work out. Actually, a group of people out there that are so mentally deficient. Mentally deficient. They watch those videos. This is what they think. They actually think I legitimately am. I'm a terrible person. You are a terrible death person. Death upon me, and they wish that people would come and beat me up and steal <laughs> all my shit and burn my fucking steal house Steal all down this and stuff and burn his house down. DDoS attack. This is how mentally just nuts these fucking people are. And mentally stupid is what he wants to video, say. It's got t more thumbs down, right, than thumbs up, which is hilarious because it's a legit. This is how you don't play. What so makes it legit? What is the reason and what is the what is what is the reasoning behind his word legit? Good content, thumbs up. But because I approve it and post it on my channel, oh thumbs down. It makes fun of him. Barely any sense. That is the mentality of these morons. I guess. So that's also him going on rants like this isn't gonna help. 
oh, all these idiots and morons and idiots and morons and dumbasses and idiots and morons, mentally deficient, mentally deficient. You think this is going to make these people say, wow, Phil sure is right. I'm a fucking moron. Let me just like his videos from now on instead. This isn't going to help. This is going to make it worse. So mind blowing. It's so mind blowing that I, I read the com I'm reading the comments. I'm looking out. I'm like, these kids. I don't know how many and, comments and he deleted while kids. he was reading them. But that's the sad part is that they're probably not kids. These are actually probably adults who have the mental capacity of like a four year old. And huh. A 34-year-old with the mental capacity of a 5-year-old telling people on the internet that they have a mental capacity of a 4-year-old. <laughs> like I said in the beginning of the video, this is the same dude that we have such low expectations of him because he's so fucking worthless in so many ways. We got so such low expectations of him. Every time he does something, something even remotely different or unique or interesting, oh man, you go, Phil. Oh, wow, Phil. What a great job you did, Phil. Oh, man. You're really, you're really turning things around, Phil. Oh, wow. It's really great that you're, you're finally embracing these videos, Phil. We, people treat him like a fucking, a fucking five, yo. And he has the nerve to say other people are behaving like kids. All right. And the things that they say and do... No actual conscious, intelligent thought, no morality, nothing. Just com No morality. You mean the thing that you pretended to have until you realize you can make money? So, fuck it. <laughs> no, con no conscious thought. Uh, you mean... <laughs> conscious thought, you mean the thing that you never do? Because if, you, if, you, if he even thought a little bit, he would realize how fucking dumb some of this stuff is that he does. And he would realize how stupid he makes himself look in so many ways. You know, it's bad enough. Oh, man, he so you know, he batted all of these games. He jacked off on camera. Uh, you know, he got the, 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 the cringy video when he first started dating Panda Lee for Valentine's Day. Remember that video? He got the video with, with Panda Lee next to him, pretending like she was, like, sucking somebody's dick or whatever when he was saying he could be good at games if he wanted to. That video... He got all of these cringy moments and bad moments and just stuff that you see on the internet and you like, wow, that that dude, that dude had, had some, some issues going on in his life. Right? It can't it can't possibly get worse, right? No, it can get worse. And it's called 2017 because it's apparently gonna get a lot worse before he goes away. Or before he he's not gonna figure it out. That's out of the fucking question at this point. You know, like for for a couple of years, maybe bef maybe before the end of the end of twenty fifteen. But for a few years, it was like, oh man, you know, maybe maybe DSP might figure it all out and turn everything around one day. Oh man, maybe he might you know figure out the reasoning behind this and turn that around and do this and do that and start editing his videos the way people want and upload better let's plays and do this and do that. That's out of the question. That's not gonna happen anymore. It's not going to happen. The only thing that's going to happen with DSP at this point is he's going to go away. I don't know when the fuck is going to happen, but it's going to happen. We're not going to get some fucking surge, surge of success with DSP. It almost happened with KO Gaming, and he fucking squandered it and went on some dumbass vacation. Remember that? He fucking squandered it and went on some dumbass vacation. So that's over with. That's over with. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. The only thing that's going to happen with DSP is him fucking pretty much going out of business, if you want to call a YouTube channel and a Twitch account of business. But that's all that's going to happen. The only thing, the only thing these stupid fan made videos and all of the Patreon bullshit and all of the Twitch bits and the Twitch subs and all of that shit, all it's doing is slowing it down because it's going to happen anyway. It might not happen this year because of all of the extra bullshit. But it's going to happen eventually. The dude trying to squeeze money out of the smallest fucking fan base ever to try to squeeze money out of. I, like, how are you trying to be a full-time YouTuber in a four-bedroom house and you only got maybe, maybe 80,000 real subs on all your channels? 
Because Kale Gaiman like got 24,000 subs. We could just be nice to him and say 20,000 of those subs are actual people that may or may not watch his videos. You know, because the channel, the channel less than two years old. I think it's less than two years old. But DSP Gaming, 186,000 subs, almost 187,000 subs. Like fucking maybe 30,000 of those people see his videos. You know how much of those accounts are people that don't even log in anymore? The, account, the accounts just never get deleted. And then the King of Hay Vlogs, I think, got almost 40K. Maybe like 15 or 20 of those of people that kind of maybe care about his videos. This dude got a fucking tiny ass fan base. Not even a tiny fan base. He got a tiny viewer base and an even smaller fan base because your fan base is going to be smaller than your viewer base. And he's trying to squeeze pay off mortgage money with this fucking viewer base he got. You think that shit's going to work for a long time? Fuck no. Fuck no. Because eventually people are going to get pissed off with him and leave and new people are not going to come in. And he's still trying to make this shit work because he don't have a backup plan because he's a fucking moron. So yeah, let's continue to give money to a moron. Basically. Let's give money to one of the biggest fucking morons on the internet. With his business degree. His alleged business degree. Yeah, go to school and get a business degree to start a, to start a YouTube channel. And, and, and get like loans and shit. Like get real life loans to try to keep this failing YouTube channel around. You go, Phil. You go, Phil. Why are you really turning it around, Phil? Complete and utter fucking idiot. shit onto the fucking internet because it's anonymous and because there's no consequences for it. Nice no, thought. It's so crazy. Now you read it. Oh my god. But I was, this is good because I was actually expecting this. I was expecting to see it and I wanted to see what was going to happen. If I approved the video, right, a video that was anti-me, you know, makes fun of me, roasts me. It's so anti-you. Automatically the video's bad. So there you have it. If anything, here's what this show. There's a large group of people out there who like me and like my stuff. They might not necessarily approve a of large what group. I do and say, but they understand how it's entertaining. They understand how it's fun. <clears throat> and yes, every once in a while... You might make fun of me or watch a video that makes fun of me, but it's all kind of understood under the, the, the umbrella of... You know what? This is one of my last points I think I'm going to make. You could actually possibly be a fan of DSP and not like the fact that he uploaded that this is how you don't play video on this channel. And it go back to what I said earlier in this video about him shitting on those type of videos for so long and about him shitting on Nintendo for so long. The dude shit on Nintendo for so long. If you a fan of him, you probably don't even like Nintendo. Oh, Nintendo just make Amiibos and kids games. I don't like Nintendo. Nintendo sucks. Phil always told me that Nintendo sucks. I think Nintendo sucks too. I agree with him. You might be one of those people. So you might see a video like that pop up and you might actually be annoyed because it's like, I don't like these type of videos. I think no, I think no life losers make this is how you don't play videos. That's what Phil always said. And I think it's true, too. And then you see this video pop up in your sub box, and you're like, what the fuck is this shit? We support this now? It's like, when you, a person like DSP, or any person on the internet, if you, a person in general, and some people listen to you or believe what you say, and you, and you tell the same story and, and tell the same story and have the same opinion on the same thing so many times, over and over and over and over and over, eventually, they're going to they're gonna start to believe it if they like you. So then when you try to flip-flop on it, you low-key asking them to flip-flop flip -flop on it too. Because if you, if you DSP and you got all of your fans to hate this site, you don't play videos. And avoid watching them on the internet. And then out of nowhere, you say, oh, well, it's on my channel now. I got those types of videos on my channel. You should watch them. But you need, you need them to flip-flop on how they feel now. And the only reason why they feel the way they feel is because you fucking put it in their brain. You put it in their head to feel that way. And now you need them to change how they feel. Anything for a dollar. Just a dollar a month. If I could get a dollar a month from 20% of 2 million. If I get $20,000 patrons a month. But then in another video he say if he got $500, $501 patrons, he wouldn't be able to work because it'll take the whole month to sort out $501 patrons. 
but that's a whole different video and i obviously don't have footage of any of this stuff because i'm a professional and i never have footage for any of this stuff because i'm a professional that's why you watch other people's videos too because they actually look up the footage on this shit of, you know i'd rather have phil exist and be successful so that we can continue to laugh with or at him or whatever listen to this dumb shit this is this is why i say this dude is pitiful pitiful a pitiful slimy fucking individual with no dignity just to keep his little lifestyle that he, that he created for himself and just to just to keep whatever fucking wonderland he's trying to live in he actually okay with people with the mind state of wow DSP fucking sucks but I should support him to keep him around so I could keep laughing at him being bad at games. Like, think about how sad and pitiful that is. Not because he made good videos, not because I like his reviews. I want to keep DSP around because he sucks at games and I like laughing at him because it made me feel better about myself. He actually wants people to think that way now. That's how fucking... That's how fucking... I can't even talk anymore. That's how fucking low he being right now. That's how... That's how sorry he is as a person. That's how sorry he is as a person. He would rather stick around and know people want him to stick around with the intent of laughing at him being bad at games. Amazing. But we pretty much done here. Right? It's the bigger good, the greater good. Versus the greater good. The other group of just... Retard. The greater good, let's keep this worthless YouTube on YouTube. So we can laugh at him be bad at games. Because that's the thing. Everything he do is so fucking worthless and empty and meaningless. That all we can extract out of all of his thousands of videos is that he's bad at games. Take that into consideration. Let that fucking sink in. Thousands of videos. Thousands of hours. It might be, it might legit take a million hours to watch all the DSP videos that he ever uploaded ever. If you was to go on his deleted channels and everything. It might. And out of all of those videos, out of all of those hours, the only thing we can extract from him is that he's bad at games. Worthless, YouTuber. Worthless. Worthless. Not even entertaining. How, could, how is DSP entertaining? Because he's bad at games. So it just go in a circle. How is he funny? Oh, well, when he loses at Dog Souls, he ra Oh, we bad at games, and that's how we funny. He's not informative. He's not informative at all. He doesn't know, he doesn't even understand half the stuff we talk about. He play games on like PS4 and Xbox One and complain about frame rate like he fucking total biscuit. He'll play a game that runs at 60 FPS and say it runs at high it runs at a high frame rate. Like it's fucking either 30 or 60 on a console. What the fuck is high? What? He too stupid to figure out almost anything without getting help from other people. <sighs> but let's keep him around, you guys. Let's give him a dollar on Patreon, uh, sub to him on Twitch, send him bits, um, sub to all of his channels, watch all of the videos. Let's do all of this to keep him around so he can watch him be bad at games because that's the only thing he gives to the world that has any kind of remote resemblance of value. Thousands, maybe even millions of hours, thousands of videos. The only thing we get out of him that has any kind of value is him being bad at games. Arts. They're just so dumb that they actually would wish like actual pain to me and thing. You know what I mean? Like, how dumb can you be? You might really dislike someone. I really dislike certain people. I really dislike certain celebrities and stuff. But for me, to go after them, you know what I mean? And say, oh, I wish death upon this person. I wish that the, their whole business would fail and they'd have to go flip burgers as for a It's like DSP is reading the worst YouTube comments about him. 
like the ones I call out and I get shot on for calling them out sometimes. It's like he reading the worst possible YouTube comments that could be left about him. And he using that as the general viewpoint of everyone. Oh, everyone feels this way. If you're not supporting me and if you don't see me as being a good thing because you want to watch me be bad at games, then you support these dumb motherfuckers that write paragraph long comments saying that they wish I would burn up in a house or some shit. These, he's group everybody in the same fucking thing. Of course. Of course, DSP. Thanks. That's insane. You fucking that moron. That is insanity. And there's a group of people. This is how they think. Also, apparently hurting DSP is wanting him to flip burgers. Because the only two jobs you can have in the world is to be a YouTuber living in a house that's worth more than your life. Or to flip burgers. Like, All right. what? That's, that is mental deficiency. And that's why it's so funny. I, I, you know what? A, you know what mental deficiency is? Being so fucking stupid that you don't realize how pitiful you look. I can call out a mental deficiency too, since we call everything else being mentally ill and mentally mental deficiency. That's his thing now. He's not gonna say we're mentally ill. He's gonna say we're mentally deficient. So he can so he can feel fucking smart. Uh. Of course. Hey, challenge, go read the comments on the video. Because you'll see there's two completely different groups of people. Intelligent adults are like, wow, this is great. Phil's embracing. Intelligent adults that are saying, wow, this is great. And let me guess, the mentally deficient people don't like it. This is how you don't play. This is a big change for him. This is, you know. Like I say, we're talking about a 34-year-old. People are talking about a 34-year-old this way. This is a great change for Phil. What? He stopped wearing he stopped wearing pull-ups? It's wow, Phil. This is a great change for you. Finally stopped wearing pull-ups. Oh, I'm proud of you, Phil. High five. Ugh. Good. We'd like to see more of this kind of thing. And then you got the other idiots. It's idiots. Just like, oh my see? god. The people that like this shit are the, <laughs> the intelligent adults. So the anyway, people that don't like it, I idiots. Just, you know, very interesting. Of course. And uh you know, I'm, I reached out because I got a few more people now who contacted me and said, "Well, Phil, I'd be, I'd like to maybe make one of these for you." Um, you know, thirty-four year old man. If you agree with him, you an intelligent adult. If you don't agree with him, you an idiot. This is a thirty-four year old man that thinks this way. We should, we should support him. We should support him, you guys. Go to all of these links and buy soap. Uh, sub to all his channels. Follow him on Twitter. Follow him on Twitch, sub to him on Twitch, give him bits on Twitch, give him Patreon money, make videos for him, do all of this for him. Do all of this for him because he's worth it. Because only intelligent humans like Dark Side Phil. No, and yeah, you know, it'll have some nasty stuff in it. All right, I think I'm done. Your roast, right? So yeah, I yeah, I'm supposed to be a roast. I'm done. Gonna start working on montages and stuff. Um, I don't think that they're going to be coming out anytime soon because I think some people have just started work on these. Okay. Uh. Oh. As more and more stuff. It's been a good minute since DSP um, pissed me off this much too. Come out, uh, you know, and, and are like a really me. long time. Uh, I'm gonna keep releasing it on KO Gaming. I think that this community creations program. But this is a this great fucking idea. I think it's work out pure positively in the long just run. Ignorance, and just <laughs> just stupidity. Oh, it's just hard to and, uh, just hard to handle I think sometimes. It's for the best. I think people are gonna like it. It's just a sad, so pretty cool. pitiful fucking individual. DSP is. All right. So anyway. Sad, pitiful individual. Yo, Let's come on, ahead. DSP, go home. Let's, Get the uh, fuck out of here. Honor here. Um, and see what they Play can. a fucking shitty Ubisoft game. Uh. Anyway, I am um I am done with all of my complaining. So if you have any complaints, proceed to leave a paragraph long comment in the comment section going against one thing I said out of this hour long video. I'll be sure to read it and uh send a letter to my senator. If you want to watch these hot, hot, hot fan submitted videos, make sure to just go on to youtube.com forward slash KO Gaming number one. Not the word number, and not the word one, but number one. Just the number, just, just, the, just the one. Just that thing. And watch all of the hot videos and the hot content. And you know what's even better? You know what's even better? Why would you sub to KO Gaming one? Right? Think about it. If you don't like the reviews, if you already know the channel exists, you don't like the reviews, you don't like the first impressions, because why would you like his reviews? Why would you like his first impressions? The bad bones, they're worthless. It's the type of review that is the, like his review is the type of review 
a general person would give 20 minutes after beating the game. Well, the graphics look good. Uh, I liked the part in the beginning. I didn't like the middle. The, the gameplay was okay. You know, it's kind of like that, kind of like that. Eh, Run at 60 FPS. Garbage reviews. Garbage. First impression videos pretty much just tell us what he did. Garbage. Worthless. So if you don't like that, why would you sub to KO Gaming for videos made by another channel? Oh man, I really like this. I really like this. This is how you don't play. Made by this other dude. So I'm going to sub to KO Gaming to see future videos that are made by different people that may or may not be as good as the video that I liked in the first place. You get what I mean? It's stupid. It's like if, it's like if Burger King sold a Wendy's burger for a day. Right? And, and, oh no, okay, this is even more fucking nonsense. It's like if Burger King sold a Wendy's burger for a day and they had a subscription program at Burger King. You can give Burger King $10 a month and get three burgers of your choice a week. Three any kind of burgers, it don't matter how much it costs. Why would you subscribe to Burger King for the Wendy's burger that they won't have again? These videos, like the last, this is how you don't play Resident Evil 7, that's like the Wendy's burger at Burger King. Even if he get another, this is how you don't play video made by somebody, it's not going to be made by the same dude, unless he really want to waste his time. So why would you even sub to the channel? And the channel isn't growing. The channel still got 24,000 subs. It had 24,000 subs for how long now? Now when I say 24,000, I mean in between 23,000, like 700, and 24,000. The channel ain't growing. <laughs> Whatever. I am Audi 5000G. I'm uh, gonna upload this and do something fun before I go to sleep, I guess. And uh, I'm gonna be seeing you in the next video where I talk about the other stuff besides this stuff. Because I really had a lot to say about this, obviously. And it wouldn't have been good if I would have made like a two hour long video and an hour of it would have been me talking about this. But I am done. Hopefully the audio um, didn't break. And uh, happy late Valentine's Day because you're probably going to be seeing this after midnight. And uh, hate you all.